What's going on guys and girls, how are you doing to that single roleplay here once again and today I want to talk a little about the recent announcements of the Diablo Immortal game for the mobile phones which was just released uh, by Blizzard at the BlizzCon 2018. Now this news have created a crazy amount of outrage among the fans uh, across the internet and subreddits, YouTube. All the known and unknown uh, YouTube guys already created their videos with the critics on the uh, Diablo Immortal and I'll, I've gathered a lot of information, I've been reading a lot of information and observing a lot of information about this thing uh, and the drama and the conflict and the, cat and the what is supposed to be a catastrophe by Blizzard um, uh, for the last few days and I want to share my opinion first of all. What happened is actually a very, very easy thing as that the expectations were pretty high by a lot of fans simply because we didn't get anything for the last year and uh, two years ago we got the Rise of Necrom Necromancy pack, then there was a patch 2.61 for Diablo 3 and after that it was pretty much nothing. Last BlizzCon nothing really happened for Diablo Universe. So a lot of people were really expecting something this time for the PC and uh, it was either should be like a Diablo 4 or Diablo 2 remaster. A lot of people expected that. What we got actually was a Diablo game for the mobile phones, for the iOS and Android phones. Um, is it really what uh, fans anticipated? Obviously not. And uh, like I mentioned, uh, the simple thing that happened is just the expectations were not met. Am I really angry about this, that they announced a mobile game? Honestly, I'm not. I'm just very surprised. I honestly did not expect it to be a mobile game, like, at all. I thought we would maybe see some you know, DLC, maybe nothing at all, but a fucking mobile game for the phones, for Diablo? Uh, it was actually more than I thought I would see at BlizzCon, because for the last couple of years we didn't really get anything at all, and getting something this year, even something decent, like mobile game, I think is actually pretty good. Aside from the fact of God it's a mobile game, will I play uh, Diablo Immortal on a phone? Obviously not, I don't give a shit about mobile games, I don't have fucking time to play mobile games, guys, I'm a full-time streamer, I'm a Diablo content creator, I'm a hardcore Diablo fan, PC fan, I want a PC game, a standalone game, which I can sit and play and uh, a stream for you guys and uh, share my builds and plans for the game and share my experience, my knowledge with you. I just cannot do this on a mobile game. At the same time, what I absolutely hate about the mobile games is they are extremely, extremely trivialized. They are extremely easy. It's like one click stupid action you basically can play it with your you know ass with your dick with with anything basically uh, it doesn't require uh, it's made to be casual that's why uh, i i what what is what i hate in the mobile games they are too casual for me uh why i turn from diablo 3 to the path of exile is not really the lack of content by the lack of depth in diablo 3 because it was already explored close chapter for me and as a content creator and as a hardcore role-playing fan uh, with a giant expertise in role-playing games, I really lacked all kind of depth in Diablo 3. And in Diablo Immortal, this will be the last depth. It's literally like you can click and destroy shit uh, uh, with a single click of your finger. This is not what I want. I cannot create builds. I cannot create content for that. This is just bullshit, guys. I cannot do anything with that. It's just not interesting for me. And this is exactly the same thing for the many fans out there. People are really lacking the Diablo 2 hardcore experience right now. And uh, aside from Path of Exile, we don't really have any good games out there right now. The last Epoch is still in development and will be not very soon. Uh, Vaults and Lords of Mayhem is also quite far from the stages. Grim Dawn is doing okay, but it is mostly a single player game with absolutely no replayability out there. Uh, aside from the other games, it's mostly like Mew Legend, Black Desert Online, they're like Chinese, Korean MMOs, which are 
personally not interested at all. Lost Ark is closing the CBT in, but I seriously doubt that I will be playing Lost Ark. So, uh, mobile game, mobile Diablo game is indeed a bit of a disaster. This is not what people expecting, but it's not bad, and I will tell you why. Now, why Diablo Immortal is not really a bad thing, guys? Mm. Well, uh, first of all, this is still Diablo. This is not, you know, Hearthstone and Overwatch or other fucking garbage. This is still Diablo is just made for the fucking mobile phones. And it's made easier, it's much more straightforward, it lacks the depth, it lacks the complexity, but it's still Diablo. And I think this is really good because we actually got something new. For the very long time since the Diablo 3, we, uh, this is like a 6 year old game right now, we actually got something absolutely new and fresh for the Diablo franchise. This is already a good thing guys. I would be more pissed if I saw some kind of, you know, Diablo 3 DLC which is literally like kicking a dead, dead horse at this point. Like, if you release the Diablo 3 DLC uh, this time around, it will maybe make the game fresher for what one week two weeks okay three weeks what what else w i mean what what next what the fuck next guys there is nothing the double freeze is a dead game like face it already it's face the reality but diablo immortal it brings uh, an absolutely new experience for other players and for my for my for more casual of course but still it's a fresh new game it's a fresh new experience it actually even has the new lore around it which is actually pretty fucking in like innovative they even uh, found a gap in the storyline where where they could fit a uh, diablo immortal and i think it's really really cool of them the um uh, the way they fit it in the diablo lore at the same time this is a mobile game which i personally do not give a shit about uh, the, it, it literally just casualizes things for the most players out there. A lot of hardcore players will not play it. A lot of Diablo 3 players will not play it. It, 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 it Will Diablo 3 Nintendo Switch players play it? I think that might actually will because it just appeals to an even more wider audience, even wider than the Nintendo Switch because Nintendo Switch is like a console itself, but Diablo Immortal you can play on a fucking iPhone and you can play on fucking phone on iDroid on, on Android phone. You can play it anywhere. I think this is not actually a bad deal. The worst thing about Diablo Immortal is that it is actually would be a pay-to-win game uh, because it's not really developed by Blizzard at all. It is developed by the company called the NetEase uh, Games, uh, which is the subdivision of a giant conglomerate online communication giant called NetEase, which is situated in China. And uh, NetEase Games um, is a subdivision of that we, uh, which are uh, concentrating on uh, developing and publishing games in both America and China. And uh, uh, I was totally surprised that Blizzard did not make this game themselves and they actually outsourced it. But the fact that they outsource it or the company called the Natties Games is actually not bad because Natties Games actually do high quality games. I checked their website and they do a really goddamn high quality games out there. They are like, uh, you know, really, it's not like shit. It's like, it's a very good solid games. Uh, at the same time, like I mentioned, and even David Bravik mentioned this, uh, that he was totally surprised that uh, Blizzard didn't really have the expertise or time to invest into Diablo Immortal and develop them themselves. Uh, so they just gave it to the Natties games and they completely outsourced the Diablo Immortal. He was really surprised and I'm surprised too because I think that they somehow were out of time maybe to develop these games themselves. At the same time I believe they are concentrating their powers on what I believe is more Diablo games and the strength of Blizzard is obviously in the PC games and uh, at the same time uh, a lot of people were pissed on uh, BlizzCon because there were new PC Diablo games announced uh, even though Wyatt Chang mentioned and um, uh, that there are much more Diablo games 
uh, in development and much more Diablo projects in development, but still people were pissed because they just didn't get there you know the creamy pie that they really wanted to get at this blizzcon this is a part of the problem uh the uh the co-founder co and producer of diablo 2 also mentioned uh one important thing that um basically the part of the problem uh, is that blizzard kind of mispresented uh the diablo immortal for the audience at first they hyped us through the Twitter and this was a good approach but then they kind of tried to tone down the hype because you know uh, they basically hyped us first then they tried to tone down the hype and said that hey, hey, hey hold on guys not many Diablo things are coming for the BlizzCon even though uh, Diablo was on the main stage so obviously something was coming but still kind of the marketing and the PR things were all out of tune and what happened then is people were anticipating something the anticipation grew and the hype train was out of the window and basically uh the purple bubble kind of blew up when people saw it's a fucking mobile game and they were like what the fuck we are the pc gamers here we are not expecting a mobile game but you're giving us a fucking uh, uh, mobile game out there so uh the whole PR and marketing and kind of um, approach towards Diablo Immortal should should have been really really different. This is a part of the problem. It's also totally done wrong. Diablo Immortal is okay, I think. It just uh, uh, it just appeals to a different audience, guys. Keep in mind that there are still PC games in development. There is still obviously Diablo 4 in development, and uh, the recent um, Articles uh, that are popping up in there in Kotaku and other um, different sources uh, shows that the co-founder of uh, Blizzard also showed up recently and mentioned that they are obviously not uh, expecting such an outrage. And th at the same time, uh, there were all the, the, it was rumored, it was almost a reality that there was a Diablo 4 video done already and it was supposed to be presented sometime but not just not at BlizzCon because it's in the very early stages out there uh, some rumors say that it was supposed to be a showcase at BlizzCon some rumors say that it should not be it should, the Blizzard kind of rejects this information and shows that it and, and tells that it should not be presented at BlizzCon so basically we're all like this close to new PC Diablo announcement and at the very last minute it was literally pulled and it was all left for the Diablo model. This is a part of the problem guys. Uh, let me conclude this all uh, with my thoughts on the meta. Uh, so first of all is Diablo Immortal a bad thing? I think it actually not. Like I said it just appeals to a different audience. Uh, there is a hardcore Diablo 2 fan base, which don't give a shit about Diablo 3. Like they fucking play Diablo 2, guys. They just don't give a shit about Diablo 3. Then there is a Diablo 3 audience. This is like a more casual audience, right? They just kind of accommodated themselves through the Diablo 3 graphics and all that shit, through the smoothness of gameplay. Uh, they are okay with the Diablo 3, but they don't go and want to get back to the Diablo 2, which is a much har hardcore game. And then there is a more potential audience, which is our Nintendo uh, Switch audience and the Diablo Immortal audience, which are the mobile phone users, which are like, don't give a shit, they don't have the time to play Diablo 3, they don't have absolutely no time to play Diablo 2 because it's an old, old game for them. So these guys are literally will be, be playing Diablo Immortal in, on the train, you know, on the bus, you know, and, and the, I don't know, on a toilet. On a fucking toilet. This is where they're playing them. This is like separate audiences, guys. So, uh, think of the Diablo Immortal as just a project for the separate audience. The real problem is that the audience came that came to BlizzCon. They are more hardcore audience. They're like truly devoted fans that came to uh, BlizzCon. They fucking traveled from different cities, even fucking different countries. They. They are really, really hardcore fans out there. 
And what uh, these fans got is what they came to the BlizzCon and they got a super occasional mobile game. It's just the wrong audience, a wrong fucking place to present, a, a, wrong, a wrong fucking place and time, I guess. And all these kind of coincidences together led to complete giant disappointment of the fans. I think it should all be done very differently and of course there should be uh, just more than Diablo Immortal uh, at BlizzCon 2018 because uh, just a uh, Diablo Immortal is okay but it's just uh, a small, very small insignificant thing for this hardcore fan base that gathers its BlizzCon. There should be something else like at least a fucking glimpse on the remaster of Diablo 2, some little uh, DLC for Diablo 3. Some little, little fucking screenshot of Diablo 4 in uh, development. This is what they should be, guys. And we got nothing of that. And honestly, I absolutely agree with the guys that were ter terribly pissed at this. But I think uh, that you understand my opinion on the matter. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and see you soon.